It locks the potential of your business with Stripe, the payment platform that makes transactions effortless, whether you are selling products, services, or subscriptions. Stripe empowers you to accept payments from around the globe. Imagine a world where you can focus on your patient while Stripe handles the heavy lifting of payment processing. Setting up your account is quick and easy, giving you the freedom to turn your ideas into revenue. Don't wait, let's get started and watch your business drive. So hey guys and welcome back in another video where I will show you step by step how to create a Stripe account. The first step all I have to do is open your browser and dive into Stripe.com. This is the homepage as you can see. So Stripe is a technology company that provides a suite of payment processing tools and services for online businesses, which enables companies to accept payments over the internet, manage subscriptions, handle fraud prevention, and facilitate various financial transactions, all draw a user-friendly interface and use EPS. Designed for developers and businesses of all sizes, Stripe aims to simply complex complexities of online payments and help businesses grow. So I will show you how you can get started. You have just to click over sign up. Click over sign in and you will find this page as you can see. And you have just to create your Stripe account. You write your email address, your full name, your country and your password. Then in the left you have here some information like here with the Stripe. Now we get started quickly into it with developer friendly APS or choose low code or pre-built solutions. Then we have support any business model like we have e-commerce, subscriptions, such platforms, marketplaces, and more, all within a unified platform. When you have returned millions of businesses, Stripe is trusted by ambitious startups and enterprises of every size. Then you click over create and you will find this page. Welcome to Stripe. Here we have, first you have to check the email for a link to verify your email. You click over open Gmail and you will find this page. As you can see, have Stripe. Thanks for creating a Stripe account. Verify your email so you can get up and running quickly. You click over verify email and you will find other page, which is this one. So here we have the dashboard, as you can see. So I will show you how you can do that. So after sign up for your Stripe account, the first step is to verify your email by clicking the confirmation link sent to your inbox. Next, log into the dashboard and complete your profile by adding your business information, including your bank account, details for payouts, then configure your preferred payment methods to decide how you want to accept payments from customers and to create Stripe with your website or app using the provided. And then, APS or plugins and test your setup and test mode to ensure everything functions properly. Finally, switch to live mode to start accepting real payments and monitor your transactions through the dashboard for ongoing insights. So this is it. I will show you how you can do all these things. First of all, you have just to click over continue activating. You have your five steps. You have just to follow it to get started. Once you click over continue activating, you will find this page. Here we have verify your business. So this is the five steps. First of all, we have verify your business. You have firstly business type. Let's start with some basics. Choose your location and business type to get started. You choose the business location, the type of business, and then you click over continue. Once you do that, you will find this personal details. About this one, we have you verify your personal details. This information is collected to verify your identity, keep your account safe, and help meet legal and regulatory requirements. For more information, consult the privacy policy. Here you have to enter your name exactly as it is recorded with government agencies. You write the legal first name, then legal last name, and then we have the email address here, the date of birth also, and we have your home address, like we have United States here, and the street address to apartment, the city, and we have the state. As you can see, we have your various states. We have all states to which is from United States. Then we have your zip code, you write it, and the phone number also. And we have here we are required to collect this information to satisfy regulatory, regulatory obligations. Then you click over continue and you will find business details. 
about this one we have tell us about your business this information is collected to better understand and serve your business industry you have to select here your industry then we have your business website product description you have to provide a one two sentence description make sure to note when you typically charge your customers this helps us better understand your business then you click over continue and you will find the public details it is only the first step about this one we have here add public details for customers this information may be visible in payment statements invoices and receipts we have statement description here so let's start a statement description from the list below or until a custom one then we have a shortened description you have to select a statement description prefix from the list below until a custom one then we have the business here customer support phone number and we have the information about the customer support address like address i mean like the street address apartment the city the state and we have the zip code also we have here you choose the country then we have the next step which is add your bank and it's the second step we have here select an account for payouts earnings you receive will be sent to this account you search for your bank of your various banks then you click over continue and you will find here secure account here we have kept your account secure so we have to read this information and you choose between use an authenticator app or add a security okay then you click over continue and you will find the fourth step we have here two things and the fourth step add the extras the first one you have tax calculation automate tax collection on your cells understand when where and how much tax to collect on all of your transaction you select your product category and then you click over continue and we have your climate contributions you have your show customers your climate commitment we have which stripe climate you can direct a fraction of your revenue from payments to fund permanent carbon removal then you have you set your commitment and then you click you choose between this and you click over continue with and you move to the next one it's the last review and finish how about this one here we have review and submit business results here you can just edit the information that you already link if you did a mistake and you have just to edit it and also you add climate commitment tax code calculation and you click over agree and submit so that's it for this one and you're done with the two steps then you'll find here in the home page other options like transactions you have here if you want to create payments like invoice payment link subscription on your payment then we have your customers also you have just to add customer and you write account information like the name account name email and your description then you add the customer then we have your product catalog you have just to create the product add for your first product as you can see you write the name the description you upload the image and you write the re requiring and amount also you have to choose the billing period such as monthly weekly daily yearly and every three months every six months and then we have custom then you add a product also you select the unit quantity and you click over add product also we have other things like payments billing reporting and more so this is how it works with stripe you can just get started as soon as possible and this is it for this video guys i hope it has been useful and helpful and see you again in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will be happy to help you guys